Okay, hello everyone. So this is how to attach a focal reducer to Sony NEX F3 camera, which is an E-mount camera. This is the focal reducer by the company Pixco. So what makes it different is that it has this glass element inside. Alright, let's get to it. So what you want to do so you have your camera, have it turned off, and you have the E-mount reference point right there. So you want to match that up with the red dot. And then that's now in place. So for this example, this is A-mount to E-mount. So this example is for this Tampron lens, but you can use it with any A mount camera. So now that you have the adapter on there, you simply line up this dot on your lens and the dot on the focal reducer. And you turn it until it clicks. Okay, so there you have it. Now if you want to release it, on this reducer you have this little lever, so you pull that out, it comes right off. Alright, so just a brief description if you're already searching this out, you might already know what the focal reducer is, but for those who don't know, I'll explain it. Okay, so here's a regular adapter, this is a mount adapter so the difference is that a regular adapter has no element as you can see it just goes clear through it basically just lets you attach a mount the lens right to the camera with no element in the middle whatsoever I'll just demonstrate this so it goes on there but there's no glass element at all and you put it on there just like you would the other one. So the difference with the focal reducer focal reducer has glass element which magnifies the light. So I'll have a an example to show you the difference. So if you have an NEX camera or any E-mount camera that is a APS-C sensor if you adapt the focal reducer to it, it basically allow, magnifies the light so you're getting the equivalent of a full frame. And that's what the glass element does. So we show you the examples of how APS crop sensor looks like on a regular A-mount lens on an APS-C sensor. It's another another thing you must do as well when you're attaching to uh, any any camera is that you wanna you wanna go into the menu and this goes for any any kind of lens of attachment that you're gonna make that it doesn't connect with the camera. What you wanna do is you wanna go into the setup menu in order for the lens to work. And you wanna go down the menu. So what you're looking for is to shoot without a lens. Depending on which camera you have, it'll probably look different, but on here, in this camera, you'll see release without a lens or W slash O lens, and you want to have it on enable. So once you do that and you enable it, should be able to use the focal reducer or your lens whichever you like so thanks for checking this out um, stick around for the end of the video I'll have more examples plus a little bit of footage that I took using the focal reducer uh, these are pretty cheap um, depending on the brand you use if you're going with metabones 
Uh, they were more expensive. Um, this one I found on eBay at a very low price uh, and I can put a link in the description of the video. Alright, thanks again. If you got any comments, any questions regarding this camera or the adapter, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Alright, bye. Okay guys, here's the first example. Uh, this is without the focal reducer. Okay, and here's the second one. And this is with the focal reducer. And finally, uh, I'm going to leave you with this short clip. This is shot, shot outdoors. This is with the Tampron 300 millimeter zoom lens. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave me your comments. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. Alright, thanks.